but for blocking in they're really really great and I found nothing else that's as quick and as easy to block in than with the, the pans. So just trying out some colours in this uh, more distant area. I don't need very sharp pencils at all yet. So no need to keep sharpening them very finely. And what I've done, I've um, looked at my reference photo and I've grabbed a load of pencils out that I think match these colours quite accurately. And I'm building up the tones. Now, because this bit of grass is more distant, there's not much detail in it at all anyway. So there's not going to be many layers built up here. So coming in with the, some of the darker strokes again. Now, if you're using a Karen Dash pencil, be careful. Because if you put too much of it down, it's a bit softer than the Carbothellos. All of a sudden, you'll find it difficult to actually go over the top of this with a pit or a Carbothello. The water in this drawing, very simple. Only a couple of shades going from white to light blue to a darker blue. I just block those in, blend them. The more tricky part of that is going to be getting the grasses on top. So I'm only putting as, as much pastel down as I need to, not putting too much down on there. Lots of dark areas in this bottom left hand section. So I'm going straight in with the new pastel and also on that bottom right. But you can see here, see what I'm looking at in that bottom right hand corner. Looking at those little dark recesses the shadow areas, getting in the shadow areas first. Okay, so that's a final few uh, details on this section. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Something very, very different from me again. I tried to keep uh, doing different subjects because I'm just showing you guys the techniques. It's up to you then to, to do your own drawings, apply these techniques to you and create your own artwork. So I'll see you all again on the next video. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, is on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go on to something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or 500 members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well and we've just designed a brand new companion website for it so if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com and they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.